Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a huge Ross haul. It's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. But I was actually looking for some lamps at a bunch of different lot Ross locations for um, our bedside tables. And I, at the time, mostly it was only me that needs it because my husband goes to bed early and our main light is kind of bright so I wanted a desk lamp and I didn't think that, you know, maybe we both should have one, right? Um, so I ended up seeking another one because the first one I bought was in the Bay Area and we're going back there a week later, which is funny, but um, I actually went to several of the locations up here in Sacramento trying to find um, this lamp, you know, hope, you know, hoping that they would have it. And the fourth time was the charm. I did find one at one of the last locations I went to, thankfully, to kind of complete the look I was going for. Um, we have kind of this like white, black, uh, kind of gray, uh, turquoise kind of color scheme throughout the house, which is really cool. Um, so I just picked up a few things for the house. I did pick up some clothes, maybe some shoes. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got this time. So, hold that thought. All right, so let's go ahead with the first bag. All right, I also got some odds and ends. Uh, the first one being this matcha collagen. I just figured that this would be great to add on with my smoothies. And I use this a lot in my smoothies in the mornings. Um, the price was a little bit high at $8.99. I normally get Primal Kitchen's big canister. I've been using their Snickerdoodle one actually since post holidays. And I think I got that for, I don't know, 11 or so dollars, uh, maybe 12. And it was like, more than double the size, so I don't know. Um, but this looks good, so I'm gonna give it a try. And then I also got this Sutter Buttes baking kit. This is the pumpkin spice and tea cake with olive oil. And this is actually a local company to this area. I've gotten one of their other baking kits. I think it was like a lavender kit. I still have it. I've been procrastinating. I actually need to make it, but it includes everything that you need to make it, like the olive oil, the baking um, items, um, you just need milk and eggs um, and you know pretty simple ingredients so I figured I would have to pick this guy up so we got that and then I also got this organic rainforest chai uh, I love chai and I usually drink tea in the mornings so I figured that I would get this guy so we got this one this looked pretty good um, this is actually a South American uh, chai, which is kind of cool. So, let's see. Wait, is this herbal tea? Contains caffeine. Usually herbal teas don't contain caffeine. That's weird. Which I have no problem with because I generally want caffeine in my tea because I drank it earlier in the day. So that's just me. But I am looking forward to this. Uh, it looks like there is a little bit of caffeine. This was $3.49. And then I also picked up this organic matcha mate green tea. So I think this is kind of more of a, your average matcha green tea. And then we also got this uh, Lincoln, La, La Canto <laughs> maple, uh, cinnamon maple flavored syrup. Now this is like a keto um, maple syrup alternative sweetened with monk fruit. They normally have maple. I've never seen their cinnamon maple. So I figured I would give it a try. And this is $5.99. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's lower in sugar, that's not like, like fake sugar-free syrup that's not that great for you. And monk fruit is a great alternative and it tastes good. Um, this one was $5.99, so not too bad. So the next thing I got is this Nature's Truth Soothing Stress Away GABA Althanian Gummies in Strawberry and Lemon. I got something like this similarly that I think through Social Nature um, to try out that's supposed to like help with stress. And this is $5.99. So let's see what these gummies, they work. 
right, so the next thing I was kind of intrigued by is this chili cranberry mix. I've never seen chili cranberries. Um, it reminds me of, you know, the chili mangoes, which is super common, but I guess this is chili cranberries, and I'm gonna have to try this out. I'm curious what this is gonna be like. Um, if you, I guess you can eat it by itself. You know, I think it would actually be really great in like granola or like trail mix. I think that'd be best for that. I'm gonna try it. That would be, mm, that sounds good. And then the next one I got here is the sugar-free shortbread cookies. I'm very curious how this is going to taste. Um, let's see. Mm. I'm curious what this used to this malatol and isomol. It doesn't seem like the best ingredients, but artificial flavor. But we'll see how it tastes. It's supposed to be sugar-free. All right. So the next thing we got here is this tea assorted mochi. Um, and I just, they've had a lot of these at Ross. They have uh, the boba tea, uh, matcha, and Thai tea. So I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of good. So I figured I'd, I'd have to try the trio version of this. This was $5. They're all individually wrapped. So that was a good deal. All right, the next item I have here is this matcha and marshmallow chocolate pie. This looks good. Um, I've seen, they're like the Lottie, I think it's a Korean, a Japanese brand that um, makes these kind of like mooncakes. That's what this reminds me of. And this was only $3, guys, and there's 12 of them in here. That's a really good deal, this matcha marshmallow. So I am looking forward to trying that. All right. Next thing we got in here is a jog bra because I, I'll be honest with you guys, with moving and just everything going on and, you know, taking my trip, I've been terrible with working out. I still have boxes to unload. So once we get more settled, I really do kind of want to get back to my normal routine of working out at least five days a week. Um, and, you know, these are, I got a jog bra. I'm always feeling like I don't have enough. So I did pick one up. This is the Puma. I kind of like how this is just like a fun halter style, like with this open back. I just thought that was kind of something cute. And it was uh, $13, but it's Puma. It's about right for that. All right, the next thing I got here, and I, I'm always looking for underwear. Be also because it's hard as a gal who has wider hips and is more of a pear shape to find you know, panties or like bottoms in general that fit right. So I did pick these up from Ross. This is, these were, um, I think like 15 or no, 10.99 for a five pack of like boy shirt panties. And for Juicy, that is, that is really quite a good deal. So, and these, look like there's an adequate amount of coverage because let's be real a lot of panties are very cheeky or they kind of just the rise isn't high enough <laughs> you, if you you know my my booty gals you know what I'm talking about but these are really cute so I'm excited to try them out and the next one I got here is this kind of like over your shoulder kind of purse. I have a fanny pack with a similar design and I honestly, if we didn't have all the craziness with moving, I would have gotten like brought a fanny pack with me along with my trip. But it was, let me tell you, when you're packing for a trip and you're all in boxes, it is such a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, and I know I have a fanny pack somewhere, but it was in a box, couldn't find it. So I just kind of had to, you know, kind of go with what I could find. Um, so I did get this one just for, you know, traveling in the future. Um, I just brought my purse backpack and it ended up being fine. But, you know, I sometimes wore it in the front, you know, because there are certain parts of Italy that have major pickpocketing issues, so I just wore it on the front, but generally it's just kind of nice to have a fanny pack when you're traveling, um, you know, just keeping your valuables in there. 
right, so the next thing we have here is a clearance item. This was $5.99. This was a uh, top, just kind of a tank top. And we're getting into fall, so it's, you know, the best time to shop is off season. So if you want to shop for summer clothes, even though it's like you're not going to wear it till next year, shop off season. Um, and that's when you'll find the best deals. Um, and so this is so cute. I just love the style of this. It's just, you know, something you can wear to work with the cardigan and it's very, uh, very flowy. So I'm looking forward to wearing this one. So, okay, there's that. The next one I have here is a like a night, like a nightgown. The it's, it's a long, um, like a night shirt that you can kind of wear at night. So I got one of these. Ooh, juicy uh, couture, juicy couture. Some people pronounce it couture, juicy couture, juicy couture. Um, Juicy Couture Los Angeles, that's kind of fun. So I did get this, it's it kind of like, starts off like, um, hugs the top and just kind of flares out, which is perfect for my shape. Um, this one I think was $9.99, so pretty inexpensive. Let's move on. All right, so the next one, we got was this um I forget the name of this type of top but this is what this one looks like it's kind of like an open sleeve like kind of flowy top this one was only $3.99 I couldn't resist it they had a white one but I got the black one just because you know the I felt like the white one you had to um, it's a little too sheer so I did get this guy and it was cute so Actually, you'd want to wear something like this with a like pair of high watt high rise shorts or high rise pants because it is something that doesn't it's not very long. Um, so just FYI, and this one was okay. This is by Hot Monday. Monday Hot Monday, and this is a large too. So something that you want to wear with a pair of high rise pants. All right, so the next one here is a pair of BB like leggings. These were only $6.49. I figured I could use another pair and get rid of some of the ones that I'm not using or I haven't been wearing. Um, I prefer black just because, you know, as we get into the holiday season, it just goes with everything. Um, and this is just kind of fun. Let's see, it's do the test. It doesn't look like it's like sheer or anything when I put my hand through it, you know, so that's kind of nice. So I did get these guys and looking forward to wearing those. And then the last thing I got for this bag was uh, just some Sentiva in wash scent boosters that just, you know, help your clothes smell nice, especially when we're in Italy and we sweated through a lot of our clothes and came back to wash them. Those really help with that. A big bag to the large bag. Okay, large bag coming up. All right, so the next item I got here is just this uh, Juicy Couture uh, bracelet. A lot of their items were gold. I'm more of a silver gal, like as you can tell, more of a silver gal, but this is really cute. So I did pick this one up. I think this one is like $8.99, so not too bad. And then I also picked up some towels. Let me tell you guys, the last time we bought new towels, well, we were gifted some a couple of, over the last couple of years, like two or three. And besides that, the last time we've gotten towels was probably back in like 2010. So like 11 years ago, and that was when I was working at Penny's, and I think I bought like the cheapest towels, I think they were like $4.99, <laughs> like the store brand. So I'm like, it's probably time we invest in some new towels. And then we also had some towels from when my husband worked at Cost Plus, and that was like 2009, early 2010, something like that. So. 
they're pretty old, ratty and worn out. So I did get some new towels. Um, this is really cute. It's kind of an ocean theme, which is what I'm going for. So I got some like cute little ocean kind of themed towels. So I got a couple of those. So I got, I think two of these and then a couple blue ones. These I think were $6.99. See, they're very thick and plushy, $6.99. Um, okay, so this is the next one I got. I honestly couldn't, couldn't avoid getting this. This is the only you can prevent wildfires. And if you're in California right now, we're in early September-ish, um, it's a very interesting timing to have this top be what? I just thought that was interesting. So I, I picked this out because wildfires have been our reality every, pretty much every summer. And this was 10 bucks. And then I also got this super cute like paint splatter wallet. It's a mini wallet, so it's just kind of you know good for holding some cards. I love like this like paint splatter design. I just I've had pants like that and it's just fun. So I got that. And then I also got this cherry like little dress top, which is honestly, it's honestly perfect for kind of going in the fall because you kind of have um, like some longer sleeves kind of going on there. Um, and initially I'm like, whoa, that looks kind of small, but it, it really cinches, it cinches on the right areas for me, like on the waist and is kind of looser on the bottom. So I just thought this was super cute. So I did pick this one up. And then I also picked up a couple of tops for work. Going back to the office two days a week. So I picked up a couple things. Uh, this is a, um, this seems actually kind of big. I think this is a, women's uh medium i think it was in the petite section but i don't think this is petites uh this is so it's 4.99 so it's still kind of cute it seems kind of wide so that's what i'm saying this must have been in like just the regular women's but kind of mixed in i just like the colors though so that's kind of fun so we got that <laughs> okay and then I also just picked up a Calvin Klein t-shirt, kind of like a semi-casual t-shirt, something I can wear to work because it's like we don't have to be, like there's not a super strict dress code as long as you're not like, you know, wearing a mini skirt, ripped up jeans or something like that. You can wear jeans and just, you know, be more casual. So this is something that I just, you know, you know, as we go into fall, wear like with a pair of jeans or something like that. And then the next one is a long sleeve top. This is, this was $9.99. I like the little, um, little bling that's on here. It's kind of like a, not quite full length sleeve, but it's perfect for, um, for as we go in the fall. So I got that. And then, we also got another one. I have a lot of this color, but I just love the design. This was $8.99 by NDP. So it has like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like this kind of tied, this tied bottom that kind of cinches it a little bit, which is cute, which is kind of cute. And this is like kind of loose and flowy, which is nice. And then I also got this Adele and May size medium blouse. And I just, again, love the little um, like rhinestones. Honestly, this is like such a cute top for around the holidays, just the color. But um, you kind of have like these almost cold shoulder, but not entirely, but it is cute. So we got this one and this one was $10.99. And then the next one we got here 
with some uh, extra virgin olive oil with garlic and I love freaking I love garlic oil. olive oil so good and this was only six dollars this was um, uh, 16.9 uh, ounces and it was only six dollars so you can't you really just can't go wrong wrong with that and then the next thing we got here that I've been using a lot is a uh, body oil infused body oils uh, this is the amaranth uh, hydrating oil I kind of smelled it it doesn't really smell like a whole lot but it is kind of nice so we got that and FYI body oils I honestly looked it up because I've been enjoying them to see like what the benefits are and one of the benefits of body oil um, it's just it's it absorbs faster than uh, your typical like body lotion so it absorbs much better um, so a good reason why you know maybe you want to try body oil over lotion and my hands and feet lately have just been so dry which is weird well I guess during the summertime I'm wearing flip-flops and stuff like that so the feet I can sort of get my hands have been really dry I don't know why it's usually more typical for me during the winter time but anyway this is the jasmine oil and I think I have another one that's not infused but you have the jasmine petals kind of floating around in there and the scents in these are very mild. Um, I have some other body oils where they're more fragranced, but these are very mild. So if you're looking for something that's not strongly scented, this is the, what's it called? Measurable Difference, I guess is the brand. Hydrating oil. And then I also got a honeysuckle oil. And you have the honeysuckle oil pieces kind of floating around in there. It doesn't really smell like super sweet or anything, but it is nice. All right, so I also picked up, I was like, why, did, why is this conditioner so light? Um, this is the Rosewater Weightless Hydration Dry Shampoo. I like to use this, um, you know, in between Shampoos, I generally only shampoo about once a week and this is just kind of nice in between if I'm like working out and I'm, you know, need to clean my scalp or something. Um, this is kind of nice to have. So I tried their rose water. This is the Ren Pure Plant-Based Beauty in Rose Water. And I also picked up their Weightless Hydration Shampoo and this is supposed to be like more pure um, plant-based natural ingredients. So this is form, the collection is formulated with citrus, strawberry, and Turkish rose. So it's not just rose water. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. So we got these guys. It has sugar in it, that's very strange. Coconut oil, rapeseed oil, rose. Lots of coconut oil. So I'm excited for that. I need moisturizing. We have another work top. I always find a reason to find more clothes, I, I, I tell you. And this is $10.99 by 89th and Madison. This is a size medium. FYI, I generally like to shop in petites. Um, that's why I thought like that is that has to be a Mrs. size. Um, because I as I said, I am 5'3, so I'm kind of like in between. Um, so I got this super cute, uh, another rhinestone top, just kind of like needed some more fall tops to go for work. And then I also got some more like work type shoes. I love, um, these wedge, uh, like heels. They go really well, um, with like a pair of slacks or like a dress. Um, and these were $15.99. I couldn't pass them up. That's since Payless has kind of gone out the door. My clothes are falling on the camera. <laughs> um, that's actually a really, really great deal. And these are Tom's, which is a pretty well-known brand. So I got those. Okay. And then I also got some more, I got some more like um, active shoes, um, especially since now that we have uh, laminate flooring throughout the house. 
I find it easier to work out on the floors just for like stability reasons. Um, but um, it is kind of hard on your feet. So it's not like, you know, you can really jump around barefooted, like doing a like high intensity cardio workout, but and then without your feet hurting you. So what we did, we're gonna have to probably wear shoes. So I got some Skechers shoes uh, that have memory foam. These were $32.99. They are slightly cheaper than what you pay at a Skechers store. So we did get that. Okay. All right, so the next thing I got here is just a Pixie by Petra clearance uh, $2.99 lipstick. So just, I'm always looking for what's on sale. And then the next one, I got is this uh, by the jam shop this is apricot jam I love apricot jam it's honestly my favorite jam um, and it's actually very liquidy but it's a huge thing of apricot jam and regular cane sugar it's not like it's low sugar but um, it is a different brand and um, it's not like you know maybe don't utilize like you know like corn syrup or stuff like that so it's kind of nice so I did get that and then I also picked up uh, some chili pepper parsley and garlic blend which is nice I'm always using chili pepper in my food <laughs> pretty often and this is just really convenient just to kind of have it all in one especially if you're this is like if you're making pasta this is like a lifesaver to have parsley garlic and chili pepper in one especially if you're making some pasta arrabbiata or something like that um, you know, parsley is a staple in a lot of Italian dishes, as is garlic, and a lot of times chili pepper, depending on what kind of pasta you're having. So, lots of pasta will be made with that. Make me. I will get to the point where I will miss Italy, but by the time that was done, I was over pasta and pizza. All right, let's, we're done with that big bag. Okay, you can progress here. Okay. All right, so the next one we got is uh, some Vega Gut Health Protein Smoothie. This is an orange ginger. Um, and, you know, I actually have IBS, so I figured I would get something like this and try it out. Um, and it has prebiotics and probiotics, so, you know, I'm just looking for something to help with digestion. So I'll probably use this I guess, you know, you can use this in lieu, lieu, lieu of like your regular protein because um, it is a protein smoothie. So we got that. All right. And then the next one we have here is this uh, Ren Pure. This is the keratin and argan restorative conditioner because uh, they didn't have any rose water conditioner. So I picked out the other conditioner options they had at Ross and this was $3.49 so it doesn't have any sulfates, parabens, and all that bad stuff so I'm like it smells really nice so I'm like oh, I gotta try that out so uh and then okay all right so we'll try that out with the rose water shampoo and then I also got this Eternity for Men uh, Eau de Toilette for my husband. Uh, I really love uh, the Calvin Klein. And I, it's really light. It's really. Okay, let me see. Okay, there you go. I love the Eternity line uh, for men and for women. Like, they have some really great scents. This was $24.99. So it's not a bad price and it's 3.3 full ounces so that's such a great deal and then the next thing i got here is this glitter flip transforming lip color it was dude it was 50 cents they often have a 50 cent sale like i think a few times throughout the year so maybe that's from that i know they had it at the beginning of the year so i had a haul from that this looks this is lip color this looks like eyeshadow. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this is something that I've actually gotten from a, from a, like boxy, um, 
oxytrim i feel weird about putting on now so maybe i won't try right now but it look i think i've been putting this on i think i have this and i've been putting it on my eyes because it looks like like eyeshadow cream all right see if i can finish this before my camera dies that's the one thing i dislike about cameras versus phones i did get a pair of pants for work looks kind of small for a size 11 but this is by flirtations no pockets of course why, why did i even buy this i don't even know why i bought this 13.99 what was i thinking it's stretchy so we'll see how this fits stretchy so i i hate that a lot of these pants don't have Hey guys, so welcome back to my part two of my huge Ross haul. I totally forgot about the rest of the items that I had to show you guys and I'm like, oh, it seems so light. And then I'm like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff that I haven't showed you guys. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got went in my Ross haul. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the um, paintings not really paintings, but the wall art that I got. Let's see. Okay. So, I got some really cool wall art. Um, this one is, I really loved it. This was actually on clearance. This was um, a, it was $7.49 and it has uh, hello in a bunch of different languages. We have Aloha, Bonjour, uh, Ciao, Guten Tag, and Hello. And I recently came back from Italy, so Ciao really resonates with me. Um, it's funny because when I first got to Italy, I thought I was hearing Bonjour, and I'm like, oh, so Italians say hello in the same way that French people do? But it turns out that they say Bonjourno, Bonjourno, Bonjourno. Um, which means good morning and ciao is like a general like you know good afternoon hello more generalized so that's something that i learned while i was on my travels because i'm like italians say bonjour too i didn't know that anyway fun fact um okay so the next one that i got i picked out because it just would really go well with my ocean theme that i have going on this was 14. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet, but it's just so pretty. Um, and it honestly, like the detailing kind of reminds me of the Lotus picture that I have, which I don't, I'm going to have to show you guys that too. I don't know where it is, but I'm going to have to show you guys that one too. It looks a lot like this and it is so pretty. So we got that guy. I'm gonna have to find that one because it is around somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Okay. All right. On to. There's a couple of things I'm not gonna show just because some of these folks watch my videos. I bought a couple of Christmas gifts um, and I don't want the people watching the video and finding out what they got. So, anyway, um, those won't be included. But the first thing I got here. Oh, this is this is a size small in men's like an alien long sleeve shirt so it looks like it'd be like equivalent to like a medium and junior sizing so i'm gonna try and see if it works but this is a like tie dye which is kind of cool so i gotta try that out a lot of things i have to try on because if it doesn't work out i want to make sure i return it in time and then I also got this uh, aloe vera coconut water melon. Um, coconut watermelon. Watermelon. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, I want to try this out with my smoothies. It sounds really good. So I want to try it out. And then I also picked up another pair of no tie shoes. These are uh, Levi's. So I have a couple of options when I go like on walks or hikes or do any sort of like activity so I got these guys and then I also have a nope not today slippers because let me tell you um getting used to like hardwood floor 
after having carpet for so many years, like your feet get dirty so much more easily. And don't let me wrong, I love the convenience of the easy cleanup of having hardwood floors, but um, your feet do get dirty e easier. So I did get some slippers. I just thought this was super cute. So I got those. These were $6.99, so not bad. And then I got another Juicy Couture nightgown. This was $9.99. And I think I upsized just because I like things looser when I'm sleeping. So we got that. It's kind of a long t-shirt. And I got a pair of uh, 10P high-rise petite shorts. I love the detailing on this. It's just really cute and it's very stretchy, which for someone with kind of wider hips, I definitely need. This is by Sandpiper, so I'm gonna have to try everything on, make sure it all fits. Okay. And then we've also got this top, which I just love it. This is... $14.99. I think this is juniors or petites. This is like super cute. It has like this sheer kind of netting on it. And yeah, this is the front, the front part and then the back. It's kind of like that. And this is just kind of nice kind of going into fall. Nice work top. And then I got some uh, shorts. I think these were size 11 indigo indigo rain for on clearance for 10.99 they're kind of longer distressed longer and distressed so got those guys again off season shopping the best time to do your shopping all right so the next thing we got is this pumpkin pumpkin keto friendly flavored syrup so that's this guy and this is made with natural spice natural orange monk fruit and soluble corn fiber so it's like monk fruit monk fruit is a really good sugar alternative I prefer it to stevia because stevia kind of tends to have an aftertaste and then the next one I got is this honest beauty uh, clearing night serum with pure retinol and this was only four dollars was on sale and Honest Beauty is such a great brand. Uh, this has a, it's a night serum for acne prone skin which kind of helps. I don't have a lot of breakouts but sometimes it just helps to have something that's not gonna clog you know your pores and okay so this is supposed to kind of have that anti-aging and like blemish clearing type of a formula so we got that. All right, so I also got this jalapeno salt. I like my things, very spicy. So I'm eager to try out this. I do have dried jalapeno pieces. I don't use it quite as often, but I use salt more than I normally should or normally do because of the meal kits always use salt. And it's funny, I never really use salt in my food until the meal kits because it's like salt and oil, like kind of crazy. So I did pick this guy up, just figured it would be, you know, honestly great for like making burgers, you know, very versatile if you like spicy stuff. And then the next thing I got here, this is a stevia um, sweetener. This is in vanilla cream and this is zero calories. This is $5 um, and I just figured that, you know, for anything that requires liquid stevia, it works for that. So I got that, it's a good size. And I also picked up these <laughs> uh, Korean spicy chicken fried noodles. These look so good. And I think uh, it looks like this isn't ramen. This is like a um, like a stir fried noodle. I think you can probably make it as ramen if you wanted to. But this sounds good. Korean spicy chicken. And it has the directions on here. Yeah. So this looks like if a um, like a ramen plate. So kind of nice change of pace. And then, all right, the next things we got here, I got some organic matcha mat. I think I have two of these. This was $3.49, kind of got squished. 
but I'm always drinking matcha in the morning time because I don't really drink too coffee anymore. So I got that. And then we have a spicy sriracha Thai dipping sauce. And this is just honestly great for, you know, dumplings or gyoza, you know, if you want something to dip those in, this is perfect for that. And I'm excited to try it out because a lot of the Thai dipping sauces, you know, they're the, the sweet chili sauce. So I'm really curious to see how that's gonna, gonna turn out. And you guys may remember me a while back reviewing bamboo water. This is, I think, by the same company. This is called BLK uh, Black Water. Um, it's supposed to, uh, yeah, see it's black water. <laughs> um, all natural alkaline pH 8.0. And then, let's see. Uh, it's a blend of purified water and our patented fulvic mineral complex. So it's supposed to just like have like added minerals in it. So I'm curious how this is going to taste. Maybe I should try it. Just want to make sure it's not, yeah, just water and minerals. Okay, let's try it out. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. It just tastes like water. Oh my god, that's so weird. And it's black. That's so strange. But it just tastes like regular water. Yeah, okay. That works for me because sometimes you get the waters that have like these weird flavors okay so let's see next up we have this pumpkin spice by birch benders pancake mix this was only five dollars pretty uh reasonably priced and then got some more coconut sugar for $3.99 but this one actually has the larger granules. This is actually usually pretty fine, but this is a uh, like more larger granule sugar compared to the normal stuff. So it'll be interesting. Okay. And then we also have pumpkin spice bread and muffin mix. Uh, this one was $6.99. Actually, it's kind of expensive. Well, one gram of sugar per serving. Actually, I don't know why I bought this. This actually seems a little bit pricey. This is keto friendly. Um, made with almond flour, coconut flour. Okay, well, I guess we'll try it once. Okay. So, that's what it looks like. So this is keto friendly. And it is sweetened with stevia. Okay. Well, hopefully it's good. Not that CD is bad, but it's just, it's not like my favorite, I guess. And then I also got this uh, Lincanto pumpkin spice muffin and bread mix. Oh my gosh, did I get two of them? Oh my God. Um, this is a really great brand. I love their sweetener. They have mock fruit sweetener. And then this is made with mock fruit sweetener. That's the first ingredient. Almond flour, oat fiber, tapioca fiber, java bean protein. So this one's a little bit different than the other one. I'm kind of debating whether or not I might return the other one because it was kind of pricey. It was like seven bucks. So for Ross, that's kind of expensive, especially since I got two. I might just keep this one and try this one. All right. And then the next one is just a Pixie by Petra Shea Butter Lip Balm. I have this in another color. This is just a cute way, you know, tinted moisturizer. It works really well on the lips. It's only th three bucks. And I just, I um, really enjoy their, their lip balms. All right, so let's get to the next bag. Um, I'll try and move through this quickly as I can. All right, so the first thing, nope, that's a Christmas gift. That's not gonna go in the video, but it's super cute. But maybe I'll show you guys later. It is this throw plush with cats on it. Alright, so we got another Birch Benders Buttermilk Pancake Mix. I have so many pan pancake mixes now, it's a little bit crazy. It's a little bit crazy, guys. Tell me. Alright, so the next one we have here is a hoodie, size large, kind of like a cute UFO type design. And this is 
the UFO. Because it's kind of cute. Design on it. Been having like a lot of alien themed items. This is called Spaced Out on one arm. I guess that's it. But this is a cute hoodie. And then we also got this Orange Kiss bottoms. So I have a lot of stuff to try on. So these are cute. These were, where's the tag? Tag is missing, uh oh. Gotta look for the tag, looks like it disappeared, but they're cute. Okay. And then I got these butterfly denim pants for 22 so these are the high-rise mom jean which is seems to be like super in style right now and I have a lot of butterfly tops to go with this I actually have a pair of denim shorts I got from forever 21 that actually look very similar to this I guess butterflies are very in season very trendy right now so we got that and then I got a just kind of casual dress, it's $12.99, like a, um, like a pleather type of skirt with this um, sleeveless top. I have another dress that was very similar to this a while back, but I don't know where I put it, but this is cute. And then I also have this um, top, which actually would go really well with um, my with either the those jeans or with the shorts that I have. So this is cute. This was only five dollars. It was on clearance. And then we have some more jeans. I have to try on. Let's see, these are 17. These are the 90s boyfriend jean and let's see. fit through hip and thigh. Okay, so let's see. These look kind of long, but we'll see if they fit or not. But I love this, um, this belt. It was just so cute. So I had to try them out. Just kind of has this distressed look. Okay. And then I also have this Venice Beach tank top. This is so cute. It was only $5.50. Like, can resist Venice Beach. I love Venice Beach. It's been quite a while since I've been there. It's in Southern California. So that is cute. And then I also got another uh, sunflower and olive oil. This uh, was only $4. That's pretty reasonable for a sunflower and avocado oil blend. So I got another one. And then I also got these pants to try on. And this, they have a fit guide that has all the different styles that you can compare to to see their fit. This is the Comfort Vintage Stretch. And that is Retro fit? What's the fit on this one? It has another cute belt. This is a daisy belt. That's what this one looks like. Timeless fit. Okay. Okay. So it kind of comes up just above the ankle here, which is nice. So, hope, so that means it's not going to be too long on me. Right. So I also got these. Matcha mixes. Uh, this is the Lancanto Matcha Latte Sweet with Monk Fruit. I'm excited to try this out. I've tried many matcha latte mixes. Some of them are really sweet. Um, this one, Sweet with Monk Fruit, so hopefully it's like they don't over sweeten them because a lot of times I find that they're so sweet that it's like too much. Um, but this looks so good. So we got this guy. And then we got the Super Greens powder, which is something that I use a lot in uh, like my 
morning green smoothies. So I got this guy, just something I like to add. This has the sticker over it, but spirulina, I think matcha, moringa, wheatgrass, and kale. And this, yeah, six dollars. Okay. Oh, and another one of these. These are the like cinching like shorts that seem to be super popular right now where it just kind of like supposed to like make your butt like cur I don't know what I'm trying to say but per like your butt more pronounced or push your butt up or something but I'm cur curious to try it because it has like this like cinching yeah this is the back part um but it was only like 350 so I figured okay well I'll give it a try so got those back of where all right so this is all right we got a juicy coochie uh, bath towel I think I got two of these um you may have seen it in another haul I may have put it away but this is a juicy coochie bath towel these were I think seven. This one was seven ninety nine. Um, but I just wanted to get a few good quality towels because the ones that we've had we've had forever, and they were very cheap when we bought them, so they're kind of falling apart. So I wanted to get some good quality bath towels. Um, and then the last thing here is just a um, small camisole called BB Effect Cute Camisole. And this was $6.49, so we'll be trying that out to see if it works out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and find that uh, wall art. It might be downstairs, but I wanna show you guys what that looks like. Um, I have another one like it. It's in, it's in the garage, but it kinda out and sleep matches my tattoo. I love lotuses, so I wanna show you guys that. So hold that back. Alrighty guys, so a few of my other items that I got for you. Or for me, was I got this Juicy Coochie uh, mat to go in front of the door. I thought it was pretty cute because we have five cats now, and just thought it was cute. It has a like a cat on it, big lioness, tiger, tiger. I think it's a tiger. And then to go out front on the porch is this guy. And he is super cute. I think he was only like six or seven dollars. So we got that. And then I am going to show you the painting. I don't know why I keep calling it painting, but the artwork that I have to go up as my wall decor. This is a lotus. It is so, so beautiful. It was $30, but it does match my other one here that I got a couple years ago. And it is. This one is this larger one that is multicolored, very similar. So I had to get like its little cousin. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard to tell because of a, it's in my garage and it's kind of, kind of a tight fit, but it is cute. Okay. All right. So what else did I have to show you guys? So it was these ones. And then, okay, inside. Let's go back inside with me. Come back inside with me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you guys is this bedspread. It is a nice uh, color to perfectly match our lamps. We haven't put it up yet, but this is a comforter set, and I don't honestly don't think we have a comforter. Like we have several like fleece blankets, but um, I don't think we really have a decent comforter. So we did pick up this set, and it's gonna go nicely with our color scheme. Super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the two lamps that I picked up. So let's. Honestly, let's go upstairs, guys. Hey, Diana. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's... Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Upstairs we go. Hi, my uncle. Hi, my uncle. Okay. Here we go. All right. Don't mind the mess. But here are the lamps 
that I picked up. They are so cute. They were only like $18 each, I think. And it just has this really kind of cool oblong shape. So I got these guys and I have one over there on the other side. Initially, I honestly only got one and I'm like, you know, who was I thinking? Like we should have a, a lamp on either side of the bed. Cause you know, if my husband wants to sleep and I want to keep the light on, I got one over there. So I picked up this one in addition to mine because our lighting is up there. So that way one of us doesn't have to get up and turn the light off. It's just nice to have these if some one of us wants to read or something or whatever. So yeah, I think that's gonna bring me to the end of this vlog, guys. That brings me to the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Super appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you th your favorite things are to get at Ross. I would love to know. And yeah, guys, I will see you next time. Bye. Mm. You are first. Okay, I just literally set that there. Okay, I don't know it's not standing up, but okay. Somebody's at my door. Who's down there? Who's down there? Okay, well, I wouldn't know. Okay, well, um, you found the recipe, right? You can start on the food. I'm going to finish this video. Um, I don't know the recipe, but I'll start on it. Uh, okay, well, it's on top of the microwave. Okay. Mm, all right. Okay. Hey, what's everybody? <laughs> what's everybody? If you get